Okay, we've downloaded, installed, and licensed 3D Coat. So let's start it up. Uh, 3D Coat is, uh, well, many things, but we're going to use it as a volumetric sculpting tool, which means we don't really have to worry about polygons or anything like that, and we can treat it in a much more intuitive way. Uh, you can do a lot of things, though, and when you load it up, you'll see here the different options, and we're going to choose Voxel Sculpting. Now, we can start off with an empty scene, we can import an object, or we can start off with primitives. So I'm going to start off uh, with loading a cube. Now, uh, the cube isn't in the scene yet. Uh, it won't be in the scene until I hit apply, which you can see there in the top left. But I can scale it up and I can move it around and I can rotate it using these different gizmos. And I can move around 3D Coat by using the kind of Maya shortcut keys, which is Alt and um, left mouse button, middle mouse button and right mouse button. But the cube won't appear until I actually hit apply. Now I can keep on adding more cubes to this one voxel layer by hitting apply again. Uh, to get out of that mode, though, I'm going to have to introduce another tool. And I can either do that with the tool options on the left, or I can hit spacebar, and this will bring up the same kind of options. And I find using spacebar a lot easier. I'm going to choose the cutoff tool here. Uh, and this is going to allow me to slice into this cube as if it were a lump of uh, clay. You can see here also the resolution I'm talking about, I'm um, showing at the bottom there. So it's about 1 million triangles, which is fine. In fact, you can 3D Coat can handle a lot more than that. Tapping E will bring up the different modes of the cutoff tool. And I'm going to choose the rectangular uh, marquee selection. And this will allow me to draw rectangles and slice bits off the cube. And this will be dependent on the view that I'm looking at the cube. So you can quickly chop into your cube and make it into a different shape. 